everyone and greetings from North Carolina. Today I'm in Charlotte for a day and I really want to go on some adventures, try some good barbecue, coffee shops and just explore around and see what the city has to offer and I'm taking you with me. Let's go. Long story short, I have a layover in Charlotte and it's like an eight hour layover and I didn't want to spend this time at the airport. So I really wanted to go out there and see what's up, eat some food, you know. I decided to stop by the park just because it's very peaceful and I wanted to rest after my flight for a little bit. But what I've noticed of the bed, there are a lot of homeless people here. A lot. Just when I stepped out from my bus and I took bus from the airport, I actually saw a lot of people here and it smells really funky. So interesting, very interesting. Reminds me of New York, but actually I really hope Charlotte is going to be cleaner. Um, maybe they're just different parts of town and I'm not in a good one. I don't know. I did not explore much before coming here because the decision I made was literally two days before. Uh, but we'll see where we're gonna end up in the end of the day. There is a lot of random architecture like that which looks kind of cool. I also have noticed this lady over here and really wanted to take a picture next to her. Here is the description, Miss Bonnie. It feels a little bit strange to walk around a city that is kind of empty. I know it's like 9 in the morning on Friday, so I guess a lot of people working. Um, I don't really see anyone around. Yeah, a few people here and there, probably tourists as well. But it's very quiet and peaceful. I'm wondering if this is because of thing going on around right now in the world, which I don't want to say because, you know, YouTube. Um, or it's just naturally the city like that, but let me know if you've been here, if you experience the same what I'm experiencing. Oh, actually, sun just came out. I was so happy it's cloudy. It won't be as um, hot today, but here it comes. Sun always comes out because we're in the middle of the summer and I have to walk here around all day long so I really hope it's gonna be more cloudy fingers crossed it's going to work my way right now I'm walking around and looking for some cool Instagrammable spots and looks like I just found one we'll see if I can take picture over there because uh, the <laughs> the guy security guard is like been walking around I think it's like private property or something, but it looks kind of cool. difficult because I don't have anyone to take pictures of myself so this has been really helpful and tripod is right now helping me to record this video so overall I'm really happy that I stopped at this city uh, one day is right now enough but I'll be back in about in a week for another layover here for about eight hours so I can't wait to discover other parts of this town so far so good actually first impression was not as great as of right now because I took so many great photos, so many great videos. I can't wait to get to this content and start editing it. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys! Just another
the graffiti right here. This one's pretty awesome. It's kind of weird to take a picture of myself here because there's like a highway on the other side and everyone's just gonna stare at me. Um, it already happened earlier when I was taking pictures but like by cool letters but right now it's gonna be even more weird. We'll see if I can do it. I have no shame right now. how walkable this city is excuse me for this lighting i was trying to avoid people around in the cars i walked so many miles around and it's not that bad even though i really miss my car i never thought i'm gonna say it this city is pretty walkable and compared to florida where you actually have to drive everywhere well i'm talking about downtown uh, per se and it's actually really nice and refreshing. I was driving everywhere since I bought my car, but here I can enjoy this nice walk. I mean, to cross downtown is probably gonna take an hour, maybe more, um, but it's nice. Uh, it's not as hot. I mean, it's pretty humid. We're still kind of down south and I was sweating a lot taking pictures of myself. So now I'm kind of exhausted and I'm about to grab a bite. There is this place called Optimist Hole and they have a variety of foods. So I'm going to go there right now. I never thought that I'll be walking in downtown and I find the railroad crossing. This is really interesting. It's like I'm suddenly in the middle of wood. The air suddenly became more fresh as I ended up being slightly in the park area closer to the water, which is really, really nice and refreshing. I just realized that I'm smiling to everyone. I think that's something related to me moving to Florida from New York City, kind of like small town where everyone is nice. You know, you walk on the street or you're driving, everyone's like waving you kind of weird and I continue doing this here um, I guess it's a nice thing to have this kind of habit but in big cities people can look at you in a weird way hey why you're smiling to me right but I've noticed that after myself and it's kind of like a interesting new habit this is the place I was talking about optimist hall currently empty because it's you know Friday around 10 11 but hope they have a lot of good food just had an amazing shrimp and chicken dumplings i actually went to optimist hall just for them because i saw a picture of it and i couldn't resist actually they're fantastic. If you're ever there, check the place out. They call the Dumpling Lady. You should sponsor me by saying that, by the way. I really like the place. I really like this food hall. It was really cool. A lot of people. I got in before the rush. It's super cute. A lot of different varieties of food. And I actually had some fun. But then a very unfortunate thing happened to my phone as I was taking picture of myself on a tripod actually the wind blew my tripod and my phone kissed the ground really hard right now phone is kind of working uh, but the screen is absolutely cracked i actually i'm happy i'm going to new york city tonight so i made an appointment with genius bar at apple store and i really hope they're gonna fix it within like an hour or so uh, because I really need my phone and I can't see what I'm doing. Thanks for interrupting me, train. That thing with my phone literally threw me off and I decided to go for a walk through the park. There's a little creek here, so just want to vent a little and also I really need a drink, but breweries are still closed. It's still kind of early. Nobody drinks this early here. When people, you should come to Daytona Beach or New York City. Everyone starts like five in the morning. It looks like I'm walking pretty cool places here. Just look at that. It's very different to walk in the nature after Florida. There's different smell, there's different feeling. You know, in Florida it's mostly 
uh, weather is like really humid and sweaty and there's like the saltiness and in the air from the ocean and seaweed you know and here it's just um, nature and trees and leaves and like different kind of feeling it's still humid very humid I'm sweating right now but it's a different feeling and it's nice to experience it after living in different states and after adjusting to um, kind of new weather um, it makes you appreciate different types of nature different types of weather um, states that you visit and the difference that I experience right now is tremendous but I kind of love it I just found this beautiful, beautiful scenery behind me and I've been taking pictures here for quite some time now and it's absolutely beautiful, just look at it. It looks like you're not in the city, it looks like you're in a farm outside of town, isn't it? Flowers are so beautiful, they're so saturated and I can hear birds, I just had a nice walk through this like mini park, mini forest and it's just so nice i can't believe like that the city has a combination of uh city living together with this like kind of nature very close by and now i'm on the way to try some barbecue or maybe get some beer in the local brewery which is like right around the corner right at the exit of the spark so it's really really cool just had the most amazing beer in my life it was like passion fruit sour it was delicious when I tell you delicious I mean it I actually mean it guys it was like a drink it wasn't like a beer it wasn't too sour it was just slightly with this like sourish kick and I could just drink so much of it but I couldn't I had a few beers and now the lady over there, the bartender, told me to go check out this place where they have burgers and fries but most of all they put uh, alcohol in their milkshakes so I was really curious about that, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one or not but I definitely want to check this place out plus I'm really really hungry and I have just a few hours left in Charlotte so I'll just have a walk, get this place, check it out, see what it has to offer. Okay, so this shake has uh, a lot of rum, but technically it's boozy colada, and we'll see how it's gonna taste like. Oh my god, guys, this is delicious. This is so good. This is pina colada, but in a milkshake oh my God. and this is huge just look at that and they gave me extra booze here mm. this is my first time trying sweet potato tata tots and they give me this Dijon mustard let's see how it is Oh my, oh my, that lunch was fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna have dinner tonight. I absolutely love the milkshake and I'm so full. I have to walk to my bus right now and I'm walking to downtown currently. Decided not to take Uber because, you know, I have to spend additional $300 to repair my screen and I'm very, very unhappy about it so I'm trying to save some money and just walk to downtown it's about like 30 minute walk so it's nothing bad about it and I have to take a bus which costs actually also about like two dollars and twenty cents 
to the airport so it's not that bad after all uh, saving some money and I explored the city thank you for staying with me uh, I think I'm gonna end my vlog here I'll be back to Charlotte next week on my way back to New York and I'll try to vlog again and maybe I'll see some other places and I hope you like it give me a thumbs up if you did